friends today uh, we will solve exercise based on uh, graph that is the graphical solution to linear equations now in graphical solution or in graphical method we have to in graphical method we have to draw the graphs now whenever we have to draw the graph we know that we have done this in 8th standard also we know this is called as cartesian coordinate system x axis origin y axis now to draw a graph we know these are the four quadrants that is the part of coordinate geometry in coordinate geometry we have seen this in detail but in case of linear equations what we have to do is let us take one example x plus y is equal to 6 x minus y is equal to 3 if we have to draw this point what we have to do on x axis and on y axis we know we know the numbers very well we are not going to discuss the cartesian coordinate system now because we know the positive x axis negative x axis positive y negative y all these things okay so suppose we have to draw a point a 2 comma 3 what we are going to do this is uh, 2 and this is 3 from y axis and in this way if they merge here we are going to get a 2 comma 3 okay now this is the basic this is the basic of how we have to draw a point how we plot a point i am using the word draw here but we should use the word plot how to plot a point in cartesian coordinate system this is the method now when we have to draw a line when we have to draw a line what we have to do is first of all we have to see first of all we have to calculate we have to find the points at least three points are required at least three points are required let us take an example let us take an example see now uh, okay we'll take a question x plus y see x plus y is equal to 6 and uh, we'll take one more uh, solution one more uh, equation x minus y is equal to 4 now if we see this type of question in the previous exercise what we are going to do uh, is it x minus y yeah what we are going to do if we have to solve the same question by the previous method our method or our process should be like this we will add these equations hum ise kya karte the in do equations ko add karte the kar liye add to kya hota tha plus y minus y cut ho jata tha x x 2x 6 plus 4 10 x is equals to directly I am going to write down 5. फिर यहाँ पे हम 5 put करते थे इस equation में या किसी भी एक equation में and then by substituting 5 we are going to get x is equals to substituting 5 we are going to get y is equals to 1. So this is the this is the solution 
obtained by solving the linear equations simultaneously by equating coefficient that is the method ye kaun si method hai ye method use ki hui method hai uh, exercise 1.1 mein ab see कोई मैटर नहीं कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता कि आप कौन सी मेथड से सॉल्व कर रहे हो लीनियर इक्वेशन को दीज आर दू लीनियर इक्वेशन आई सॉल्व दिस लीनियर इक्वेशन बाय दिस और इलिमिनेशन मेथड इवन इफ यू सॉल्व दिन बाई यूजिंग क्रैमर स्कूल यू आर गोइंग टू गेट द सेम आंसर नाउ टूडे वी विल सी हाउ टू सॉल्व दिन बाई यूजिंग ग्राफिकल मेथड Now, when we have to solve the same equations, the linear equations by using graphical method, what we have to do is we have to, we have to draw. First of all, we have to convert the equation x plus y is equal to six. Now, see, this is a very simplest linear equation. This is a very simplest linear equation, and we have to convert this equation y is equal to all the things remaining. For example, y is equal to six. Uh, send that x to that side. Uh, right hand side, it will be six minus x. So y is equal to six minus x. Y is equal to six minus x. Now you have to draw this type of box. See, minimum three points are required. Minimum three points are required. So we advise our students to draw at least three points. Okay? Uh, can anybody answer why? Uh, we can draw a line from two points also, but why we are avoiding two points? You have to think over that. And if you want its answer, you can find its answer in uh, maybe ninth standard, where we have already learned the chapter um, lines and planes. Okay. So here in this view, this is the box. Simply here in this row, three rows, four columns. In this row, we are going to write down x coordinates, y coordinates, and here we got a pair, pair or ordered pair. It is called ordered pair. X comma y is called ordered pair because the numbers are written in certain order. For example, if you say two comma three is a point, what does it mean? It means that you mean to say two belongs to x axis and three belongs to y axis. It means we are writing the numbers in certain order. Hence, it is called ordered pair. Now, here, see, just put one, two, three. One, two, three in place of x. If you put x, uh, one in place of x, six minus one, y is equal to five. If you put two here, six minus two, y is equal to four. If you put three here, six minus three. It will be three. So you got x y x y x y. So the points will be one comma five, two comma four, and three comma three. In this way, you got that. Now, many students question me that, sir, uh, is it necessary that every time we should choose one two three, or uh, is there a procedure to see? That some particular numbers are only can be taken. See, ऐसी कोई भी प्रोसीजर नहीं है आप इसमें कोई भी नंबर ले सकते हैं कोई भी नंबर का मतलब कोई भी यानी टू डिजिट थ्री डिजिट नंबर नहीं है वी हैव द लिमिटेशन ऑफ आर ग्राफ ऑल्सो लेकिन बट वट यू टू डू इज टेक अ नंबर टेक वन नंबर इन सच अ वे दैट आफ्टर सब्सटीट्यूटिंग दैट नंबर द रिजल्ट विच यू आर गोइंग टू गेट शुड बी अ होल नंबर बिकॉज सी to plot a whole number as compared to the decimal number is very easy for example here if we have 1.1 if you put here 1.1 uh, or 1 simply if you have put here 1 and you got 5.5 then you have to plot 1 and 5.5 so to to such 5.5 is something difficult than 5 5 can be easily found on the number so what we do is every time we prefer the numbers in such a way that both should be the whole numbers that is the procedure it is not a compulsion you may get the coordinates in a decimal form also here there is no question as the equation is very easy now we have the second equation x minus y is equal to 4 uh, it means you have to you have to convert the number in the form of y is equal to so it will be y 
is equal to if you make the equation it will be x minus 4 I took the 4 here it will be minus 4 I send minus y to that side it, it becomes plus y in this way I convert the equation in the form y equals to now many students have this question also that sir is it necessary to convert the equation y is equal to form no it is not necessary you may convert the equation in x is equal to form okay it means put the let the x on left hand side and shift all the numbers and y to right hand side okay in that case here you got the value of y by substituting the value of x if you make it x is equal to then what you are what you are going to do you have to put the values of y and then you will get the values of x okay uh, yeah now we will make a box and then in this way okay we made a box then simply x y x y then okay now here you are taking one two three uh, try to change the numbers okay we will do one thing uh, it is not necessary you should change them but we will what we do is we try to get some different points here if you have one two three anyone if you take one two three the coordinates will be different but okay let us take the same one two three if you take one here one minus four if you take x is equal to 1, then 1 minus 4 will be 1 minus 4 will be minus 3. 2, 2 minus 4, minus 2, 3, 3 minus 4, minus 1. So you got the coordinates 1, comma, minus 3, 2, comma, minus 2, 3, comma, minus, sorry, 3, comma, minus 1. Okay. 3, comma, minus 1. Now, okay, I will say, uh, now <clears throat> on this board, say, we cannot draw the graph as it is, but, but just to give you guys an idea about the graph, I will draw a rough graph, okay, and uh, I will directly give you the solution, how, how will that particular graph will look like, okay, now, uh, This is a completely rough diagram, okay, just to make, give you an idea how these two lines, this line and this line, how these two lines will look like, okay, I will write down it here, x minus y is equal to 4, okay. Now, simply draw some 5 by numbers on both the sides. axis on your graph on the upper right corner you have to write down scale also 1 centimeter is equal to 1 unit ok now first of all we will draw <coughs> we will plot these 3 points 1 comma 5 1 comma 5 means x1 and your y is 5 so the point will be here second number is 2 comma 4 x is 2 y is 4 here it comes then 3 comma 3 x is 3 y is 3 so approximately the point will come here okay. 3 comma 3 in this way then yeah, simply just try to draw a line here Both the times your line will pass through x. Okay, it will cut x-axis at six and on y-axis at six. So the these points are one comma five. These are two comma four and three comma three in this way. And the equation of uh, this line is uh, yeah x plus y is equal to six. Okay, then we will draw.
draw another line uh, 1 comma minus 3 the coordinates are 1 comma minus 3 x is 1 and y is minus 3 ok here it is second point is 2 comma minus 2 ok x is 2 and y is minus 2 in this way and the last point is 3 comma minus 1 uh, yeah 3 comma minus 1 here it is 3 comma minus 1 if you draw the line in this way it will pass through yeah see it will look like this the line will pass through these points ok and 1 comma minus 3 here uh, 2 comma minus 2 mm, 3 comma minus 1 now this is the equation the equation of the line is equation of the line is y is equal to oh sorry x minus y is equal to 4 ok so in this way in this way we have drawn both the two lines now how to find the solution see to find the solution what we have to do is we have to check the point where our lines are intersecting here our lines are intersecting at this point so this point on x axis it touches to 5 and on y axis it touches to 1 it means the solution is 5 comma 1 the solution is 5 comma 1 if you remember before the start of question ye question shuru hone ke pehle bhi jab maine isko simultaneously solve kiya tha tab mera answer aaya tha 5 comma 1 agar main ise cramer's rule se bhi karu even if i solve it by using cramer's rule same solution i'm going to get okay in this way we have solved linear equations in two variables by using graphical method okay you will get a perfect graph for that okay you have to draw the graph you have to practice this graph on graph paper okay uh, try to use a sharp pencil for that i prefer 0 0.5 0 0.7 lead pencil okay in this way we have finished this question number one now in this question the equations which are used the equations the question is based on these two equations now these two are very simple type of equations okay in the next question we will take some hard questions okay hard questions are some complicated equations okay okay students let us take one more question on graph okay uh, i will take i will write down two equations here okay see the first one is 2x minus 3y is equals to 4 and the next one is 3y minus x is equal to 4. So the most important method is how you are going to convert these equations. Now see, normally this type of questions are asked in board exam, okay, uh, maybe for 3 or 4 marks. The procedure will be same. So see here, uh, first of all we will take first equation, okay. Uh, the first equation is uh, in this way we have 2x minus 3y is equal to 4. Now we have to convert this equation in the form y is equal to all the terms. Now see 2x I take this 4 it will be minus 4 I shift this minus 3y to that side it will be plus 3 so 2x minus 4 upon 3 is equal to y you got or you may write down it this way y is equal to 2x minus 4 upon 3 okay now as you got the given equation in the in the form y is equal to all the terms simply put some numbers in place of x and find the value of y before that we need a term, we need a table okay in this way now see how I am going to choose the numbers 
Now here the main question of the student comes or the difficulty which they frequently ask me that how to choose numbers. For example, by the experience of the earlier question, if you simply put one year, what will happen? Let's say if you put one year, it will be two ones are two, two minus four minus two, and minus two by three, minus two by three will be something some negative decimal number, some negative decimal number, not the whole number. That number may be plot. You can plot that negative decimal number also. But it is complicated. So what we have to do is, so I advise the students to check the numbers. Simply put zero. Okay. Try to put zero. For example, I will put here zero. Two zeros are zero. Zero minus four minus four minus four by three. Can we divide minus four by three? No. So let the zero as it is. Okay. One as we have already checked, one is not of use. So one zero is over. One is also of no use. Let's check minus one. 2 into minus 1, minus 2, minus 2 minus 4, minus 6, and minus 6 by 3, minus 2. It means when you put here, when you put x is equal to minus 1. Again, see here carefully. Minus 1. If you put minus 1 in place of x, 2 into minus 1, minus 2. Minus two minus four minus six. If you are not able to calculate uh, the term in the same way, you may do rough work in this way also. Two into minus one minus four upon three. You got minus two by minus four by three minus six by three minus two. In this way also, you can check it out. Okay. So minus six minus three. If you got when you put x is equal to minus one. You get y is equal to minus two. Okay, so in this way you have to check the numbers. Now, see, you try for zero, you get nothing. You got, uh, you try for one, no. But you for minus one, you got the number, you got the point minus one minus two. Now, simply proceed in this way. Try to put two there. Okay, try to put two. Okay, we'll we'll do one thing. Two. If you put x is equals to two, what will happen? Two two is at four. Four minus four zero. Zero and zero by three zero. Both are whole numbers. Easy to plot. Two comma zero in this way. Then uh, okay, two is over. Uh, let us check minus two. No no no. Minus two. Okay. X is equals to one. Right? So I think I have done something wrong over there. Minus one minus two. Okay. Let us check minus two. Minus two into two minus four minus four minus four minus eight. Can we divide minus eight by three? No. So minus two is of no use. Okay. Let's check. Uh, minus two is over. Two we have taken two. Now let us check three. Three two is a six. Six minus four is two. Two by three? No. Um, four four two is a eight. Eight minus four is four. Four by three? No. Minus four. Minus four into two minus eight. Now this is interesting. If you put minus four here, if you put minus four here, minus four into minus two minus eight minus four by three minus eight minus four minus twelve minus twelve by three is minus four because three fours are twelve. So you got the point. Minus four, minus four in this way. In this way, you have to take the points. Now, let's take the second uh, second equation. Three y minus x. Okay, three y minus x. You may take one more point if you put five here. You may take one more point. Five two are ten, and ten uh, minus four is six. Ten minus four is six, and six by three is two. So you may take one more point also. You may take one more point. If you put x is equal to five, you get y is equal to uh, okay. Five is already taken. So yeah, six by three means two. So you may get another point five comma two. Okay. Five comma two. Choose any three points. Choose any three points. Okay. Just I just remember that's why I told you this point also. Okay. Now let us take the second uh, equation. 3y minus x is equal to 
3y minus x is equal to 4. Take 4 to this side. 3y minus 4 is equal to x. It, uh, what we have done here? We have converted the equation in the form x is equal to something. Okay. So this is also a method. It is not necessary that every time you should convert the equation in the form of y is equal to something. Here it is x is equal to 3y minus 4. It is also a method. Okay. But as we have done earlier y is equal to hum vaisai karenge isko say. 3y is equal to x square will be a minus x kya bandhya aega plus x ho gaya plus x ho gaya to already kone hai 4 ya amber hai y is equal to 3 ka a jayega 3 ke niche jayega y is equal to kya ho gaya x plus 4 by 3 simply what you want to do is just try to put the numbers jaisa mein method bata hi hai as i told you earlier you have to follow the same method again simply this is a simple equation so we got x y and x y ok now let us take number one by one. Because one simple number, suddenly when you see the equation, you, you have to practice these equations in such a way that even if you see them, oh my god, I saw this, I put here 2, 2 plus 4, I put x is equals to 2, 2 plus 4, 6, 6 by 3 is, 3 twos are 6. If there are upper, do substitute kiye. 2 plus 4, 6, 6 ko 3 se divide kiya, answer a gaya, 2. A number a gaya. और एक आसान सी बात यहां पे -4 डाल दो x की जगह -4 4 यहां पे डाल दिया मैंने -4 -4 0 एंड 0 by 3 0 0 by 3 is also 0 so these are the terms i am not going to check every time 0 1 1 2 2 3 3 you have to practice the graphical questions in such a way that you have to remember the points suddenly frequently okay so the next number will be, I think I should take 5. 5 is easy. Why? Because 5 plus 4 is 9. And 9 by 3 is 3, 3 is our 9. So, 5, I put here 5, add them, add them, add them, add them, no, 9 divided by 3, 9 divided by 3, answer is 3. So, 2, comma 2, minus 4, comma 0, 5, comma 3. In this way. Now, here we have to take one care. एक थोड़ा हमें देखना कि यहाँ पड़ेगा। अब बोलें सर मैं यहाँ पर 14 लेता हूँ, 14, because 14 plus 4, 18 and 3 6 are 18. तो भैया वो point क्या आएगा फिर आपका? अगर आप x 14 डालेंगे, तो y आपका 6 आएगा। अब we have a limitation. While drawing a graph, हमें हमारे हमारे एक limitation है। हमारे पास या तो छोटा graph होगा या बड़ा graph होगा। अगर आप बड़े ग्राफ पे भी काम कर रहे हो तो आपका सेंटर से लेफ्ट हैंड साइड पे ज्यादा से ज्यादा आप 8 या 9 पॉइंट्स प्लॉट कर सकते हो सो so, 10 मे बी uh, 8 और 9 पॉइंट्स ऑन द लेफ्ट राइट अप एंड डाउन यानी आपकी लिमिटेशन क्या है योर लिमिटेशन इज 7 पॉइंट्स और 8 पॉइंट्स ऑन द ग्राफ आप 14 हाउ कैन यू हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू प्लॉट 14 देयर यू मे गेट 6 यू मे गेट 6 but you are not going to get 14. So, while plotting the points, while putting the points in the table, you have to keep one thing in your mind that the point which you are going to get must be plottable, must be within the limit of our graph. Okay? So, in this way, we got 1, 2, 3. Okay? You may take any 3 points. 3 points are sufficient. Uh, okay. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. In this way, you have to plot these points. Similarly, as we have plot the earlier question. Now, here I am not going to tell you. We are not going to draw the graph on this board. But you, will, in the video, you are going to get the solution. Okay? I will give you the solution. How your lines will look like. Okay? So, here we have solved two questions based on graph. Now, uh, see, in this graphical method, there is no variety. There is no variety. Either the question will be easy, as just like previous one or the question will be slightly difficult just like this okay so two questions are sufficient if you guys need more questions to be solved in the upcoming videos you have to comment that okay in the video after watching this video you have to in the comment box you have to tell me whether you need more solutions or not okay if i got uh, 10 or 15 comments or more than that we are going to take one more session for that okay so in this way we have solved. You are going to get this solution. I am going to give you this solution in the video. 
in this way we have solved the graphical solution in this way we have to solve the graphical linear equations by graphical method okay you can write down these points also today we will stop okay thank you